Hey guys, it's Jackie and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time stumbling across my channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button so you can officially become a part of the Little Flower family. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing some lip swatches for you guys and I have all 12 of the blah. I have all 12 of the NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipsticks and I've had these sitting on my vanity for weeks now and I have been dying to try them out but I wanted to try them out on camera for you guys. So throughout this video I'm going to be sharing my first impression and my thoughts on not only the shades but the consistency of the product and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully by the end of this video you have a good idea of what to expect from these lipsticks and you know whether you want to purchase it or not or what shades you like or not. If you have any questions about these liquid lipsticks I will leave information in the description box below as well as the link to the NYX website so you can check it out but also feel free to leave me some comments and I will try my best to get back to them as soon as possible. So without further ado let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to start with shade number one which is honeymoon oh wow they apply like it feels very velvety so here is the first shade and I actually kind of like this it has that very like dark grungy 90s vibe to it and I feel like most of these shades have that kind of vibe but um, it's really nice so first off my first impression um, these have a very soft velvet texture when applying them and the sponge applicator is very easy and precise to kind of line your lips as you're going with it. They do feel a little sticky when I like go like this with my lips. They feel a little sticky. This was only one coat and it applied a nice even layer over my lips. And as far as the color goes, this is a darker nude. It has some like purple and gray undertones to it. I can definitely see myself wearing this color more because I actually kind of like it. Now we're going to try shade number two which is called embellishment. So here is what embellishment looks like. It is a little more purpley mauve tone, and I don't think I'm loving this shade on me. I mean, I feel like it does go well with my skin tone. It's just maybe not my cup of tea, like not my personal preference for lip color. But again, the texture and consistency is still the same as the first one. Um, it had a smooth velvet texture, and just one coat applied an even layer onto my lips. So still has that stickiness. Do you see how my lips like kind of stick together? Like, yeah, that's, that's a bit annoying about these. See, you could kiss and nothing will transfer. So that's cool. It's just a little sticky. That's, that's the, my only concern. Next we have number three, which is lace detail. And I'm not going to lie. I'm a little scared to try this nude because it's very, it's a very pale nude. So I'm just, I'm nervous it's not going to be flattering on my skin tone, but let's try it out. So here is what lace detail looks like. It is such a nude nude. Like, it totally blends in with my skin, I feel like, and you can't even see my lips. I don't even have lips anymore. <laughs> the thing with this color, though, I, I feel like it's because it's a lighter shade. It's looking a little more dry and flaky on my lips, and I just don't think this color is very flattering. If maybe... Maybe if I'm doing like a super super dramatic dark smoky eye then maybe I'll go for a nude lip so that the focus is just on my eyes and it's not like there's not too much going on makeup wise but I am going to have to pass on this color. Now we're going to try on shade number four which is called Ruffle Trim and I have high hopes for this because it looks really really pretty in the bottle so I'm hoping that it looks nice on my lips too. So here is what Ruffle Trim looks like. I'm really happy with it. I really like how it looks on my lips. It's like one of those perfect nudes. It's like my lip color but better. I really like this color because I feel like it just enhances my natural lips and also makes them look a little bigger because you guys know I have like the smallest lips ever so this just makes them look a little more plump and I like that. Next I'm going to try number five which is called Beauty Mark and it's a dark chocolate brown and I'm really excited about this one. I hope I like it. Oh my gosh yes. So far this is my favorite out of the bunch. Oh my goodness. I love this dark, vampy kind of lip. I feel like this would look so nice with a look like this where it's very clean and simple, like on the eyes, minimal eyeshadow, and then just like this as a bold lip. Love it. I think it's super chic, super 90s grunge. I also think this would look really sexy with a dark, smoky eye and just like a dark lip and just dark, sexy, mysterious makeup. I think that'd be so awesome for a nighttime look, but 
this color I am digging this color number six is called push up and this is another light nude that I'm afraid might not be so flattering but um, open mind I'm gonna have an open mind so let's give this one a try I think I like this nude a little more than lace detail but it is still a pretty light nude than what I'm used to I feel like it really does look similar to um, lace detail so I feel like I need to put a side by side so I can compare the two this is number seven called satin ribbon and I am terrified of this color I kind of just want to get this one over with this one already just looking at the tube looks like powdered donut lips in a bottle powdered donut lips in a bottle oh this is just terrible <laughs> oh my god I cannot even get this to apply nicely I can't even see my lip line anymore <laughs> I don't know where it went I saw someone with a very fair complexion apply this and she didn't like it on herself but I personally thought it looked really nice with her fair skin but I think this might look better on someone with even a darker skin tone than me so maybe someone with like a chocolate, a beautiful chocolate color skin tone maybe this might look good on them, I don't know but me, it just kind of washes, it blends in with my skin It's like. That's how nude it is. It just kind of blends in and like my lips are, they disappear. Like where, where's my lips? Where's my lips? And I'm noticing this with the lighter shades that it applies a little flaky and it really, um, like it shows off all the lines and creases of my lips making it look really dry and flaky and cracked. So it's, it's really not flattering to be honest. Number eight is called Bedtime Flirt. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, not bad. I can roll with this color, I like it. This one has the most pink undertones to it, so um, if you like pink nudes, then you might like this bedtime flirt color, but I like this. I would wear this again. It's a cute color. We have four more left. This is number nine, Corset, and this is another very, very pale nude. I'm scared. I keep saying that with all these pale nudes, but I'm scared. At first I didn't like this color, but the longer I look at it, I think I think I kind of like it actually. I don't know now. This is a very, very light brown, like coffee brown nude. It's really, really light though. But like I said, the longer I look at it, I think I kind of like it. I will say these are kind of difficult to remove so um, I, I wasn't able to take it off just with a makeup remover wipe so I have a bowl of coconut oil here so I've been taking a makeup wipe and coconut oil and rubbing it on my lips to remove the liquid lipsticks and it's been coming off but because I've been doing that so many times my lips are getting a little dry now so um, I had to take a break and apply some lip balm but uh, that has nothing to do with this lip color at all now we're gonna try on number 10 which is Teddy these dark ones just make me feel like such a badass. I really like these. I feel like for the most part, it's safe to say that the dark ones are kind of my favorite. I like these ones a lot. This shade, Teddy, is definitely like the richest brown shade that there is out of the bunch. Shade number 11 is called Baby Doll, and I will admit I've watched a ton of these NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick Lip Swatches. That was kind of a mouthful, but I've watched a lot of these videos, and I have not come across a video where this shade is flattering on anyone. But let's still swatch it on my lips so you can see. Out of this collection, I feel like there are a handful of shades that are this powder donut lipstick shade which is not flattering um, but this color in particular is just I don't know I'm just not liking it and last but not least we have number 12 which is called exotic this shade reminds me of a red lipstick gone nude and I like it I like this because you guys know I've never really been big into wearing red lipstick. I don't know why I just don't like to wear red lipstick. So I feel like I would be someone that would lean more towards a shade like this where it's nude but it has like some red tones to it so it's kind of like a nudish red lipstick. So yeah, I like this shade a lot actually. 
So my overall impression, I think these are all very opaque lipsticks and I really do like them and I love the velvet texture, they're really soft, but um, the stickiness is really my biggest concern. That would be like the biggest con that I have to share with you guys about these lipsticks is that the sticky texture, I'm not sure if it goes away or not. Um, I'm going to continue wearing this lipstick for the rest of the day, so so I'll keep you guys updated like on my vlog channel and on Twitter and Instagram and all that kind of stuff. So I'll definitely keep sharing my thoughts on this, but as a first impression, I do not like that sticky texture. If you are looking at this line, I definitely recommend the darker shades in this collection because I think they're very flattering and they're just really pretty and creamy and... And I just really, really like them. Let me know in the comments which shade was your favorite. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Have a magical day.